and Matt. In this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to shoot consistently with any build, any height, any rating. You're gonna be lights out. I shoot 75% from three. Playing casually with bots, all different type of builds, all different type of accounts, all different wingspans. So what you're gonna to want to do is send this to a friend who can't shoot. Chances are eight out of 10 of your friends can't shoot. So you need to share this. How long is it gonna be till the 2K community learns how to shoot? Okay, this video I'm gonna go into all the depths and all the jump shots, all the nicks and tricks and all that. Get this video to 1,000 likes and I will teach y'all how to be an ISO god, dunking, stick meter god sensei, okay? Now look, firstly, before we get into the jump shot, did some more research, right? There are a lot of people say you gotta be plugged in, right? Now there are videos saying both opposite things where you could be wireless or plugged in. Some videos they're saying wireless Bluetooth gives you the best connection and some is saying wired gives you the best connection. Sometimes with it being wired, some people saying it gives you a delay. Either way, you test it out, whatever. Either way, when you play the game, you have to stay consistent with how you play. Either play wireless or plugged in. Okay. and test each one do your research man right i i personally play wirelessly i feel like that gives me the best connection and i feel more like i can react better than plugged in so yeah now firstly this jump shot right here this is the best jump shot when you don't got t-mac for every build okay poppers yes for y'all that's not over 610 this is your jump shot dog okay i play with y'all i'll be mi seeing y'all miss and all that you be using jt or scotty or whatever the hell you use it this is the one this is the one it's better than all of them i'm telling you i tried all of them when i tried this whole baby t mac it's just so much easier to hit effortlessly okay this is the lifesaver that y'all need to be telling everyone else to use. Now, I'm going to give y'all another high arcing shot. If you don't like the Culver base for some reason, this is another different jump shot if you can't get the T-Mac because you need 87 midi or three point to get that. You can try this hoe out, okay? You might like the different load ups. Every jump shot gives you more load ups or different type of load ups. Sometimes more often how you move, swig, all this and that. So you might prefer this, okay? This might be something you like. It's one of the fastest jump shots in the game. I'm gonna show you the fast version of it with a lower release height, but I like my, my jump shots with a little lower A plus and then a higher release height. And um, you can't really get contested like that. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, man, you know? Here's the alternate reality for the hypersonic speed version. You know, if you want more speed, but you know lower release height now this ignis okay this is for if you got like a low shooting build you, you messed up whatever you could try this so even if you use different releases you can even make your requirements even less okay this is like you know look look how high you shooting that hole my boy now look here's a different version you know if you wanted more you know, a little more better. But yeah, this is another pretty good, decent jump shot, even for your poppers. These aren't just for ISO builds. It's for everything, dog, okay? Locks, poppers, all that. And guys, please stop making builds that can't shoot. The three ball. Please, it's 2024. Unless you're a standing dunk cheeser, post-scoring cheeser, don't make an inside center. Please learn those skills or don't make an inside period okay y'all y'all's ego you need to check yourself man please bro it's, it's it's ridiculous man here's personally one of my favorite jump shots the t-mac t-mac best base in the game okay if you get the 87 plus just rock the t-mac my boy save your life here's another version with the um higher release height okay it's between that and this that i'll be using 
Now look, for guards, this is your T-Mac, okay? You struggle, you can change your uh, releases, you can't get this hoe. I don't know why you having a guard that, I don't know, bro, but if you can't use Curry, if you ain't got Patty Mills, use this jump shot. If y'all wanna see how to glitch Patty Mills and T-Mac on all your builds, I dropped the video, you know? Check it out, my boy. But yeah, this is easier to shoot with than uh, Curry, maybe? Here's the Curry jumper, man. You know it's faster. When you can't use shots, tick them down, y'all. You know, you could take this hole down like this, man. I ain't even gonna hold you. Now, this is the best big man jump shot to me. Chris Bosch is horrible. And look, for your big man releases, try that goddamn Tim Duncan. I just saved your life. Here's another good jump shot if you don't get KD. Okay, the Isaac. Okay. You got the Eric Pashkal. Okay, these are all good big man jump shots. Only ones I really mess with that I've tested out. Here is the best guard jump shot when you're 6'5 and under. Okay, you can shoot over people, people saying it's hella glitchy, but you have to be a certain rep. I think it's starter three or vet three. I don't think it's vet three. It's one of the uh, reps, so you gotta play the game a lot. If you don't have this base, just put up to get all your hot spots, dog. If you really struggling, my career, 12 minute quarters on rookie. Thank me. Thank me later. That method seems to be easier than the street ball method. Me the street ball method still seems pretty easy, but my career, 12 minute rookie, that seemed crazy easy. A lot of people don't know about that, bro. Okay. And you could just shoot over people. A lot of people don't know you could shoot over these on these like easy settings. I even shoot over on the street ball. A lot of y'all don't know that. Here, man. I want to show y'all this right here, guys. Okay. This is very important. This is so important, bro. A lot of y'all, you're not thinking, man. I've been on at least 40 different accounts this year, right? And I'm noticing something. People don't have their badges or their hotspots. And they're going to play and then they're whining about the game, especially this year since the rebirth, right? It gets you the silver badges or whatever. People aren't getting their hot spots and maxing out their shooting badges. You have to do it. Literally, th this right here. Look, y'all are playing and you don't even got this max. How do you know the real truth of the game? You feel me? Look, Hall of Fame MIDI magician, bro. Are you gonna miss a MIDI with that? Especially, I already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game. Y'all go check it out for your build. I gave y'all the best releases in the game too. And I'm finna go over the best jump shots again. I go, I put in different jump shots every time. But look, you want to max out your jump shots. Look, right here, Claymore. You wanna max this hoe out. You wanna max out Mini Magician. You really wanna max out open looks. This is so important. It will change your game. I don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys, they're not doing uh the badge updates on all the uh shooting badges first. Like, I don't know if I'm just tripping, but I just feel like these shooting badges change everything. Like, like it's not even close. Like when you play with without this and then compared to with this, it's completely different, bro. That Catch and shoot, one of the most important badges, bro. People don't even got their catch and shoot max. They're gonna go play and they're missing. Look, I got this whole Hall of Fame. You feel me? People aren't maxing out their badges, especially because of the rebirth. I'm telling you, this is why you're missing way more than not. Look, the green machine, you gotta get this whole max. Maybe it might not do nothing this year, but I, I I don't know in particular what, but I know overall when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83-point build, right? Look, Space Creator, max that hole. Watch what happens. It's broken. Look, max that hole. Watch what happens. You, you see these badges? You want to max out your shooting badges, bro. The Agent 3s, you want to max this hoe out before you say, like, the shooting this and that and that and this. The the shooting's broken because Mike Wang's playing God. It's giving you random releases, and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right, bro. When you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right, he's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying.
broken, bro. It's it's annoying. Like, like stop punishing the top players. It's corny as hell. Mike Wayne really need to lose his job, bro. Blinders, look, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen. The Hall of Fame Deadeye, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen. Okay? Limitless range, max it out. Watch what's gonna happen. You feel me? I'm telling you, bro. Max your badges. If you need the method, let me know. I could get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall. Like all of them, right? I just don't have the time, you know? This is a new build, by the way. This is a rebirth. I did all this in, in one day. All these badges you see, I did all this in two hours. Before I get into all the jump shots, I want to show y'all this, right? Get your lethal hot zones, okay? 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them, get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else, but you know. But look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, brother. But listen up, yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball... Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K. And there's so there's different latency in so many different modes, so it's kind of hard, you know, you know. But it's still easy, right? You just gotta get used to it, you know. You gotta have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. Throws you off. It's ridiculous. When I be playing rec, all I hear old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot, <laughs> jump shot boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also even better, Gatorade, okay? Um, you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took gym rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? Very important, your Gatorade is gonna help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. <laughs> Y'all ain't never thought about that, huh? Now one more thing, in every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback, you could turn off everything. If you like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm gonna keep it on, but they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just wanna test this out, this is something you could- Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But well, hey, hey, here we go again. Talking this for when this hit the fan Everything I'm that made me Now break it down Yo Off the top of the dome, dome.